hey guys what's up so this is continuation of web service testing through postman and this is the second video where uh, we will see how we can send the request to the server and how we get a response from the server and we will try to validate that right so before to start this is brief about me uh, i have my facebook page and youtube channel and i come from mechanical background so you can subscribe my channel so that you'll have access to all my videos now uh, let me show you the postman so in last video i spoke about how to make a get call now what i will do is uh, there is let's say you have endpoint url okay so usually what happens in your company wherever you work for uh, you will get you know api like this so the first whatever url you are seeing that we call it as a endpoint url which is nothing but your service url so this is the service we are going to hit the service login service and this is your payload so this is json payload the json means everything will be in the form of key value pair so login is the key and this is the value whatever you are seeing that in the curly braces again inside that login id is the key and this is the value password is the key and password is the value login source is the key and app is the value right now the entire things is enclosed inside curly braces which is nothing but complete payload so this we call it as a payload which is nothing but you know the request body to the server so when we post this request to the server server will give us the response now let me show you this is the endpoint so copy the endpoint from here and that's how you will get in the company so copy this endpoint and since this is a post call because we are going to post the data so select post paste here url so i pasted the url now copy the payload so we have the payload also so let me copy the payload this is the payload so copy the payload and go to the body here click on the body click on the raw and here click on json okay now paste the body here so when we paste the body here and this is the endpoint now if you go in the headers you can see that you have something called content type right here you can click on bulk edit click on bulk edit when we click on bulk edit we have content type is equal to application slash json json means the body what we have it is in the form of json this is json it's a key value pair so automatically in the headers if you go you can see that content type colon application slash json click on key value edit click on that it will come as a key value pair so this is the key this is the value right now go to the body here and you click on send so when you click on send what happens this request will go to the server and from server you will get a response so response has come you can see that here this is the response so in the down this is your request section in the down what you have is a response section so this is your response section so here you are getting that yes response code success here you can see that status code 200 which means success and this is the response right this is the customer id uh, this is the information about the customers and this is the like this is some information about me you will get it right so this is the response you will get so when you get a response this response we need to validate like whatever response you are getting the response is right or not so how do we validate the response response we can validate by two ways one we know that what data we will get the other is at the same time you can make a query to the db so in the db you can query that like okay we whether this user has this information or not right so when i say my user which is nothing but bhanu so you can check in the db like what is the gender for bhanu what is the last name and uh, what is the registration date you can query in the db and you can check with the response right and you can make sure that whatever response you are getting from the server it is right that's how we make sure and that's how we perform the post call so post call requires 
body of the content which we are going to post to the server endpoint and header now save this project so click on save and that's how we save the project one by one so that you know uh, we will not lose the data here i will write project one in your case you can write your project name so i will write project one not project one sorry here i will write login because this is login api so i will write login api in collection name i will write project one and i will click on save so when i when i will click on save the project one will get created here here and this api will get saved so though i will close from here but since it is saved in my system if i do double click here it will automatically opens up here and when i click on body everything will be saved here right so that's how we can preserve the data uh, we will see uh, going forward some other api also like how from one api response we can supply the data to other api response we will see that one by one right and uh, if you guys able to understand this okay uh, you can automate you can test the api in your company in the same way right so thank you guys thank you for watching this like my video and subscribe my channel thank you once again